Play Dave Jones for the green. Green flag in the air. Star Trooper Youth Division veteran class is underway. Whip Curtis gets a good jump on the outside. She gets a push from the 37 of Joey Frazier. There it is. There's a down to the top spot. She's going to bring the 37 squirt gun. Joey Frazier with her on the outside. Move down the back stretch. Keep an eye on Jenna Bowling on that 67. On opening night for Star Trooper, she was working the outside move. She's looking to do it again here tonight. Bolio now goes to the outside on Peter Roberts for spot number three. And squirt gun Joey Frazier goes to work on Brooks Curtis to the top spot. On the bottom side, up front now, the battle for the top spot, starting to heat up. Squirt gun, Joey Frazier, looking to the outside of your leader, Brooke Curtis. Curtis in time 17, trying to hate. On the bottom side, Frazier trying to get a good run on the outside group. Battle for the third spot, starting to heat up as well as Jackson, Jackson, Philip Owen in time number 20, trying to make it happen on Jenna Bolio. Behind them, it's Kate Roberts and Dwight South. They're going at it. Tegan Edson and Paul Bubal in the 57, and Allison Avery in the 58. Matt Prince on the 18, and Jimmy Connor in the double zero. Back up front, top two is broken away, and Brooke Curtis is doing a heck of a job holding off the 37 of Squirt Gun, Joey Frazier. Tegan Edson now in the 57 to the bottom side on Dwight South. First spot number six on the racetrack, Edson in the 57. On the knee south as she makes the pass complete, she takes over the sixth spot. Battle for third, heat up as well as the 20 track. Of action, Jackson pulls off from the pressure to the 67 of Jenna Bolio. Squirt gun just can't quite get the run on the outside groove. Joey Frazier in the 37. Brooke Curtis hanging on to the preferred bottom line of the Star Speedway. Frazier trying to work the outside groove as they come down the front stretch. Action, Jackson pulls off. Thinking the same the outside group and Jenna Bolio. Bolio has showed in the first couple of weeks that she's not afraid to work the outside group. And another girl not afraid to work the outside group is Tegan Edson. Edson to the outside on Pete Roberts now for spot number five. Tegan Edson has a nice green, taking some pass to the car 57 around the outside on Pete Roberts. At the line is Edson on the outside group into the fifth spot, line number 57. Now going to go to work and try to catch the 22X. Of action, Jackson, Philip Owen for the 4th spot. See if she can have a run at a top 3 here tonight. As Brooke Curtis continues to lead, car number 17. These kids do a great job making clean passes. They're learning each and every week around the racetrack for practice rounds and for real racing. Halfway home this time by 8 down, 7 to go for your leader, Brooke Curtis, in car number 17. Curtis trying to fend off squirt gun Joey Frazier in the 37. He's been all over the rear bumper of that 17 car all race long, but nothing doing so far. And Curtis is running consistent. Rude. Squirt gun just can't quite get to the outside group. The girl on through is Tegan Edson in car number 57. She has got the rear bumper of the 22X of Action Jackson Philip Owen. Keep an eye on Edson now. Edson trying to crack in the top three. She made the most advances thus far in the Star Trooper Veteran class made it. Now Edson looks to the bottom side on Jackson Goldco. Goldco is trying to get trying to win by the 67 to Jenna Bolio. Good high reason for that third and final podium spot right now. And Action Jackson now steps to the outside. Action Jackson Goldco puts it into overdrive and he takes the third spot away. Bolio set it up just a little bit down the front straightaway. Has the 57 and Tegan Edson gets by. Edson up in the fourth spot now in car number 57. Five below signal that time by from two starter, Gage Osborne. This time by, it's going to be four laps to go in the top two have broken away and they're still racing by the head to a creature. Trying to find a way by. Last traffic could be a factor in this one as Jimmy Connor in the double zero. Right up ahead of your leader down the back stretch. Edson in the 57, going to work on action. Jackson Philippon trying to take over that third and final podium spot. Jimmy Connor in the double zero does the right thing, stays to the bottom side of the racetrack, allows your leader, Brooke Curtis, and Joey Frazier in second to get around the outside. Curtis, all race long, has sent it off the 37 to Joey Frazier down the back stretch. She opens up to the bottom of the car lane. Pops to 
Both fifth in the air this time by four. Your leader, Brooke Curtis, in car number 17. Frazier has two more laps to see if he can find a way by down the front stretch. Frazier right to the rear bumper. Now looks to the outside, going to the turn 22. Matt Hurtle in the 18, right up in front of your leaders. This could wreak havoc for your leaders. We'll see if Hurtle decides to stick to the outside. Curtis going to have to find a way by. White flag is in the air. Hurtle right ahead of your leaders. Curtis going to go to the other side of Hurtle now. Now the front stretch. Show for the crowd. The future racing here at the Star Speedway, looking for your eyes. 